<laughs> Alright, what's up guys? My name is Kaysen and today I'm going to be showing you some test footage that I took on top of Kennesaw Mountain with the Smooth Q and the XS Max. Here we go. Also, while I'm showing you that, I'm also going to be reviewing it and kind of telling you just some of the features that are built into it. All right, the first thing that's going to happen, also my favorite part, um, is when you double tap the record button, okay, that's awesome. I'm going to do that again, yeah, hold on. So you turn it off, it's dead weight, watch this. So the first mode in um, is where it will pan um, with the motion of your hand. So the tilt of the camera will not change whenever you turn it on. See how I'm going up and it's still pointing forward. Same thing going down. Um, but if you do want to pan left and right, it will turn with the motion of your hand. Um, that's good if you're trying to show off a landscape and just slowly turn it like this, but you don't want to change the tilt of your camera. Um, the second thing, uh, maybe if you want to like, let's say you have an object like my camera and you just want to focus around the camera, um, you can just tilt it like that without it actually losing the frame of the camera. Cool stuff, right? Okay, so the second mode. So you hit the button one time, it's going to lock the pan and the tilt. So see how I turn my hand left this time and it stays the same. So you can. nuts um, so if I go down go up it's still gonna stay facing the camera uh, if I try to twist it left or right it's gonna stay on the camera um, so this is good like, let's say you want to do a walking forward shot and you just want your camera to focus on where you're going all right so the next mode is if you double tap the mode button um, you're gonna get to where it basically will follow you no matter where you turn um, so if I want to look at like the lamp over there I can turn my hand left and it will turn with it if I want to look at the desk, I can just angle it down and the phone will also start to angle it down. Um, this is good for getting some unique shots. So if you want to do like, let's say you want to slowly rise up while you rotate with it, um, you can do that. All right, and the last button I want to share with you, and this is for if you want to vlog, you can triple tap the mode button. You can triple tap the mode button and it goes into a selfie mode. So this is how you can vlog. So in this mode, it's just gonna go wherever you move your hand. So let's say, uh, let's say you were vlogging. Here I am. Hey guys, my name is Kaysen. And then let's say um, there's a baby doing backflips that you wanna record. All you do is you flip your hand around, record whatever's happening, um, and then you're back to your face. All right guys, if anyone was wondering what the audio sounds like on an iPhone XS Max, or um, if you can vlog with a phone and a gimbal like this, then here it is um, this is on my iPhone so yeah so yeah to hop out of that mode all you're gonna do is triple tap the mode button again and you're back to where you started so another thing I want to mention with this are the time lapses you can do with it and then the control dial all right so on the back here there's a dial and whenever you move it it will also move your camera slash phone This will also go up and down. So I would say, um, I wouldn't use this feature if you're just trying to like move it left or right. Yes, you can use it and it is very helpful, but the easiest way to get the smoothest motion is just to do it with your hand. So just change the mode and then just slowly rotate your hand like that. Instead of that because then you know you may speed up at certain points and slow back down and it won't look good. Um, another thing I wanna share with you is the app and basically how you can do time lapses. All right, so with the time lapses, we're gonna to go to the ZY Play app. Um, you just have to connect your device and it should be on there as long as you set it up. Okay, so to do the time lapse, we're gonna to go to, let's go over here to the video and we're gonna hit up here say moving time lapse 
So this is the part that I think is really cool. So you know how whenever you see like a really good time lapse, it'll start in one corner and then slowly um, pan over to another part. So to do that, uh, what we're gonna do is, so I'm gonna hit um, add waypoint here, then I'm going to move it over here, add a waypoint. All right, um, I've locked tilt, so it will not go up and down. I say next. So let's say just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do, all right, so this is gonna last 30 seconds. Um, it's gonna take a picture every second, and at the end, it'll tell me that I'll have a one second video. Uh, so I hit start, and then it's gonna go back to the original position, okay? And then obviously this should be on a tripod. This will not be handheld, um, but you can put a tripod underneath here and just set it up and let it sit still. So see how it's moving on its own. So while it's moving, it's still doing the interval that you set. And at the end, this is awesome. I've used it before, it looks great. All right, so it's done, um, video saved. It will go into the library and then just use it however you want to. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I really didn't realize what I had when I bought it. Um, it was more of something to try out and just play around with. I felt like there's someone that might want to use it more. So if I ever get to a thousand subscribers, I would do a giveaway of this. And then maybe like 2000, I would do my camera that I used to use. Maybe, I don't know. Yep, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please hit the like button below. Also, I post weekly or two times a week. So if you like this type of stuff, please consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.